Hey there, it's Harry from Seven Daddy Barbecue. Today we're gonna to give you a smoke ring tutorial based on my YouTube request. We're gonna show you how we can create a smoke ring using some black belt techniques, using both natural ingredients as well as some artificial ingredients. We're gonna show you the tips and tricks. We're gonna cook six brisket samples and show you the final results. So what exactly is a smoke ring? A smoke ring is a chemical reaction that essentially causes a pink crimson ring to appear on the edge of your meat. It usually happens when you cook meat low and slow in a pit and uh, over a long time, this smoke ring forms and forms a beautiful crimson ring. As a professional competitor uh, and a certified barbecue judge, uh, I can tell you that uh, certified barbecue judges are told in the rules and the training not to judge a piece of meat by the smoke ring. But as a competitor, I can tell you that uh, the smoke ring is important as a competitor because the day that I turn in meat without a smoke ring is probably not the day that I'm going to take top honors in a contest. So what exactly is a smoke ring? It's a chemical reaction and uh, I'll show you a picture of how smoke ring looks like. These are some pictures of my, my first place brisket boxes. And you can see this crimson ring on the edge of the meat. Uh, some more pictures here. So this is caused by a chemical reaction and you can create this chemical reaction uh, using natural methods, which is the way I use it for competition. Uh, or you can create it using some artificial products also. So we're going to talk you through some of the different methods that uh, we can use to create beautiful smoke ring on your meat. And uh, hopefully this answers my uh, YouTubers uh, request on what is smoke ring, how to create it, and uh, what are the pros and cons of the different methods. Here are the six uh, brisket chunks that I'm going to do in my test with, uh, cooking it six different ways to create uh, different kinds of smoke ring. These are 12 ounce to 14 ounce uh, prime brisket chunks, which I've cut into squares. We're going to try it six different ways. The first one using regular salt and pepper. Second one, adding a product called Morton Tender Quick, which is a whole meat cure, uh, using my Slap Your Daddy First Place uh, KCBS uh, Ranch Reserve brisket wrap. And uh, it's got uh, ingredient, natural ingredients in there that will help promote a smoke ring, such as uh, celery seed. Uh, we've got a pink cure, which uh, is a pastrami cure, which can also generate a smoke ring. Uh, a couple of natural products here. We're going to try a little bit of celery seed and a little bit of ground celery. I've already weighed out the uh, pink salt here. So for the meat that we're going to be cooking, around a 14-ounce piece, uh, here's the amount of cure we need, about, uh, about just under 4 grams. So it's all measured out. We're going to season it up, cook it on the pit, and share with you the results on which method, whether it's natural or artificial methods, uh, will allow you to get the best looking smoke ring and on your meat. Okay, first sample, we're going to just apply some uh, salt and pepper on it. And see if the, con the control sample will generate a smoke ring with just salt and pepper. <sighs> Okay, lots of salt and pepper. I like it, like a Texas style piece of brisket here. For the second sample here, we're gonna basically put some of the Morton Tender Quick, and I put it in a shaker bottle here. Just apply a nice liberal coat of that, that much on it, on all the surfaces. All right, the next one is the the pink salt, and we're gonna measure exactly uh, just a tad under four grams of the pink salt. And apply it on the meat here, very carefully. So, try to get in on all the edges here. Okay, and the next one will be my beef rub here. Uh, it's got a natural ingredients like a celery seed that will help promote the uh, the uh, formation of the smoke ring. Put it in here. Let's try this one here. This is uh, actually the barb also. They helped me win uh, KCBS Rancher Reserve First Place USA in the brisket category. So it's it's been it's a good work, good good rub for if you want to compete in the brisket category. It gives a beautiful flavor, beautiful smoke ring, and fantastic flavor. All right, we're gonna try one with celery seed. This is a. A celery seed. Celery seed contains natural nitrites. I'm gonna apply some of that onto the meat here. So, and this is the product I have in my rub that helps promote uh, the uh, 
formation of the smoke ring. You can you can buy your own celery seed and place it in your seasoning, or you can just you know buy my rub, and that also works. So, so natural the celery seed has natural nitrites. Uh, nitrites actually combine with uh, uh, some of the uh, smoke in the pit to generate a smoke ring. So the last one I'm going to do is I'm going to do uh, basically ground celery, which is a finer form of the celery seed. Apply some product here on it. All right, there you have it. So we have six uh, brisket samples here. We're gonna cook it in the pit uh, until they are kind of uh, maybe about three, four hours at around 225 to 50. Once the smoke ring has formed or once the crust has formed, we're gonna take them off the pit. We're gonna cut it up and show you the results of the six way test. Okay, we're gonna take it out to the pit and cook it for, I don't know, only four or five hours and then cut it up and show you the results. Sample two, which was the Morton Tender Quick. Sample three was the pink salt. Sample four is the Slap Your Daddy uh, Championship Brisket Rub. This one is uh, celery seed, and this is ground celery seed. <laughs> six uh, samples cooked first one with salt and pepper second one with the Morton tender quick product which is a pink cure third one is the pink curing salt fourth example is my slap your daddy uh, moolah beef championship rub the celery seed and ground celery so you can see all six uh, examples have pretty decent smoke ring that's because we had good technique in the pit we cooked it with under with wood and smoke and also sprayed water to help the formation of the smoke ring I think that the salt and pepper one and the moolah uh, is pretty equal. Uh, same with the celery seed and the ground celery. The tender quick one, which is uh, artificial uh, chemicals, uh, has quite a, actually a deeper ring. And uh, whether you like it or not, it's a matter of personal preference. And the pink salt is even deeper. So these are the two outstanding examples of a super deep crimson smoke ring. Um, and uh, you have to decide which one you like better. Uh, I won first place uh, in the brisket category and uh, beef category many times with just this product here. And when I cook at home, a lot of times I just like salt and pepper. So all in all, uh, the test is pretty even in terms of how you create smoke ring. Hopefully uh, this answers uh, my YouTube viewers questions about how you create smoke ring and what it is and how to get the best results. We'll show you a few examples here. I hope you found this video educational and uh, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.